Caleb Peevler here with Marine Max in Panama City, and no, I am not three feet tall. I'm just standing in front of this used 2017 Grady White 330 Express. Come on a little bit closer and let's get a closer look at that beautiful celestial blue hole color. I wanted to start on the outside of the boat to talk about one of the most important things that Grady White has to offer. And if you're a Grady White fan, you know that is the CV2 hole. The CV2 hole provides that soft and stable ride. How that happens is the degree of pitch, the degree of dead rise as you come out on this boat, <laughs> the enormous Carolina flare, that we've got right at 55 degree dead rise up front that allows for a deep hit and penetration to break that wave up. You've got the chines to send the water outward where the Carolina flare is gonna keep it off the, walk, off the windshield, off the passengers of the boat that are gonna work our way back to align with the cockpit. We're gonna be at about 33 degrees. So we transgress from 55 to 33 to a flatter 18 degrees at the rear is where we get the stability. That soft ride coming from the hard entry at 55 degrees with a soft and stable transom where this boat's an over 11 foot beam across at 18 degrees is where we get that stability. What we're gonna do is take a step inside. I'm gonna show you some excellent features that this specific boat has to offer, and we'll take a closer look. As you come aboard the Grady White 330 Express, you're gonna notice that this boat is powered by twin Yamaha 350 four strokes. This boat specifically is equipped with Helmmaster and has been upgraded to also have Yamaha's newest feature, Set Point. Set Point has three different modes that are gonna allow you to not only enjoy the boat, but enjoy fishing with you, your family, and your buddies a lot more. Uh, as we climb inside, I'll give you a closer look at what that set point feature looks like on the joystick, as well as the upgraded Garmin display that replaces the command link display. But more importantly, it has three features. Uh, the three set point modes is number one, where it's directional and heading, where you're gonna stay in a single position and face a single position without moving. The second mode, is going to allow you to hold a position but spin around. That fishing point is going to keep the RPMs at the lowest feature, allow the boat to spin with the current and the wind, but hold us over that reef that we may be bottom fishing from. The third mode is going to allow you to hold direction where I might want to keep my stern facing south, but allow the boat to drift a weed line and it's going to maintain the RPMs and shift of the motors to keep my direction in the right position and I'm gonna drift that weed line or I'm gonna drift that deep water cliff or I'm gonna run that ridge line. Uh, as you get ready to come aboard, we're gonna take a closer look at what 11 foot, seven inches of beam looks like. Some of the features that we've added to the boat as far as the aft drop curtain to take full advantage of the helm air conditioning, uh, as well as some of the air conditioning and features and amenities on the inside of the cabin. Why don't you come on up? As we take a look at the transom of the boat from a different angle, you can look at a couple key features that'll make this boat a lot more enjoyable. Uh, number one is the fish box right here. As we look closer inside that I've already got it unlatched, we're gonna see that there it is LED illuminated, it is refrigerated, and it is split. Whether we're catching monster pelagic fish, pulling up big grouper, we can keep, the, keep those insulated as well as refrigerated with the refrigerated fish box. If you wanna go ahead and put the splitter in, Keep your snapper and ice over here. Keep my cooler of beer and ice over here. We can separate those items. Two things that you can see down here at the rear is two caps that look like they're gonna be freshwater caps. The back one back here is exactly what you thought it might be. We've got a freshwater wash down for keeping the sand off our feet, the blood off our boat, as well as hot water heater adjustment from cold to hot, because I hate to wash my fish with cold water on my hands. Big feature here if we're gonna enjoy the boat outside of fishing and we're not using the tow rails to reel in our next big old fish, is we're gonna to come to about 50 inch rear bench seat that has that angled rear bolster to give you a little bit more support in the back. But if you take a look at how thick that cushion is, a good comfy area to enjoy the rear of the boat. A few tackle stations here. We've got our fusion speakers uh, that are rear facing as well as ones integrated into the hard top. Another bait well and live well back here. Uh, let me switch you sides here, Mike, and I'm going to show some of the features here in the cockpit. If you take a look upstairs, you can see that AV2, AV2 hardtop 
with color match underside is a nice beautiful feature as an add-on. As you get a closer look to the cockpit, we're going to mimic a sport fish here and have the elevated helm seat where I can get full view, get my bolster down, and not have anybody that's riding in the boat with me be in the way. I do have that elevated seat in the center with the upgraded quilted interior that I can stand here at the helm and operate this dealer added option, which is a Garmin 7616. 16 inch multifunction display. We've got our 7616 here. We've got our autopilot controller here, as well as the Yamaha Command Link Plus gauge, which happens to be a seven inch Garmin screen uh, that replaced what used to be the Command Link gauge. VHF 200, mic on the side, Fusion Radio Control, Command Link Plus that's gonna run our data. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. This is gonna be our chart plotter, sonar, all those you know essentially features to run out and fish, run our radar. You've got your joystick control. More importantly than just Helm Master to run the boat sideways, as you saw in our other video, is you've got that set point feature that's going to be controlled here and here on that Yamaha gauge to allow you to fish those three modes we talked about here earlier in the video. All of our rocker switchers and controls, along with breakers, trim tabs, uh, and key things as we look at that AV22 AV2 top. We got a tongue twister. It's sunroof. We've got the blinder up right now. We can go to screen. If we close the screen, let me split here. Let's see. Oh, with some education to open the screen and, the, and that sunroof, you'll be able to go and get fresh air in. We've got the vented front window. Uh, and then we'll work our way down in the cabin, see if we've got enough lighting to show you some of the cooktops, the bedding, the mid-berth, the enclosed bathroom and some of the amenities that the inside of that cabin provides. Something I did not talk about while we're standing here is this is a separate AC unit. You've got 12,000 BTUs of air conditioning pumping into here and a separate air conditioning unit with a separate thermostat running inside the cabin. If it were me on a day like today, August 29th, I'm gonna close that aft drop curtain. I'm gonna pump this area full of AC. I'll probably leave this door open and pump it full of AC get this area cooled off, run out back, fish, bring in some snapper, come in here, cool off, enjoy that AC, enjoy that air conditioning, radio, cabin, etc. Let's take a minute to go down on, on into the cabin. Coming down into the cabin, uh, not sure how well you can see with the lighting here, let me kick on a few more lights, but we do have full bathroom, full length mirror, um, where you can go in and have that privacy of a separate bathroom versus just a curtain or a, a pull rod. Um, if we look down below in the rear with the mid-berth, you can see mirror, large mid-berth that's a little bit wider than a full-size bed to sleep two down there, three if you love each other. We've got that beautiful Grady White high-gloss finish table with a little sectional couch, forward berth up front to go ahead and let the captain's quarters sleep. You've got storage down below, as well as the kitchenette between refrigerator, TV, remote for the stereo, cooktop, microwave, nice finished cabinets. Key thing that a lot of people overlook about a lot of these boats is there's other brands I've been on that have this storage on top of a cabinet, but don't have that simple stainless rod. Something simple enough to put more paper towel rolls, toilet papers, cell phones, Items that aren't going to come off when you're underway in that soft and stable ride is neat. Another key feature as we're wrapping up here is going to be the coriander countertop that's got the wine holder with wine glasses to enjoy that sink, fill it with water. You've got your sink here on an extendable hose. There's those two air conditioning thermostats to control the helm where we were at and here in the cabin. Excellent boat. Wonderful upgrade for any Grady White owner or somebody coming over to realize what they're really missing out on. Can't wait for you to come see us. Give me a call. Marine Max, Panama City Beach. This is Caleb Beebler.